Do you think that Stanley maybe saw a younger version of himself, sort of, just a sort of a free spirited and and maybe unintended, I don't know about the arrogance part, but just unintentional, sort of just idealistic, you know, free spirit? Possibly, (laughs) possibly. I never really, uh, I never really saw it that way, you know, but I did, you know, because I idolized him so much. I had asked him, uh, this is one of my last meetings with him on the movie, I said, well, I said, well where, do you get, where do you get your ideas for your movies from? Where do they, where do they, uh, and he said, well, ah, that's, the, uh, uh, that's a very good question, you know? And he had no answer for me. <laughs> so it, uh, aside from him having this real open door policy, did you learn anything from how he dealt with people or how he worked? Maybe just him being open and relaxed and joking that you kind of wanted to emulate yourself? I think uh, probably my style of directing is, is um, similar to his in that way, except that I'm, you know, I've never had the luxury of being able to be quite the perfectionist he was because you know, he was certainly known in his later movies for um, I think Scatman Crothers or something did 70 odd takes of something in The Shining, you know. So, um, so he would he he was known for shooting many many versions of it, you know. And usually, what I find if I shoot a lot of takes, it's usually the um, it's usually take one um, or possibly the last take, but you know. Um, but um, I I. I think the uh, style of being relaxed on the set, you know, I've, I've worked with some pretty heavy duty directors that like to shout a lot and throw their weight around. And, um, you know, to me, that's not the way to get the, um, the most out of a crew, you know. Um, 